While isolating with COVID-19, along with two of his children, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has come out with his strongest words yet about the protesters who've taken to the streets of downtown Ottawa. They've been there for the past three days, calling for an end to COVID-19 restrictions and mandatory vaccinations. Nicole Martin joins us live with the latest. Nicole. Good evening, Taz. Tens of thousands of truckers and supporters have been rallying in Ottawa, while others remain on the roads tonight and continue to deliver goods all across this country. Police have said the vast majority of protesters have been peaceful in the nation's capital. But today, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau voiced strong condemnation for those who took part in the hateful and criminal acts. We won't give in to those who fly racist flags. We won't cave to those who engage in vandalism or dishonor the memory of our veterans. There were symbols of anti-Semitism and hate like the Confederate flag. Speaking in Ottawa, the chief of police says hate crimes will be investigated. Within the next 24 hours, we are going to be creating a hotline for hate incidents, hate crimes, any offenses directly related to the demonstrations. There was vandalism to the Terry Fox statue and someone was seen jumping on the tomb of the unknown soldier. A service user and a security guard at the Shepherds of Good Hope were assaulted over the weekend uh, by protesters who demanded to be fed. While police say thousands were peaceful and no reports of violence, Trudeau said he believes the views of many are a continuation of misinformation online. Conspiracy theorists uh, about microchips, about you know, God knows what else that go with the tinfoil hats. <laughs> Today, the crowds of protesters have thinned a bit, but the convoy of Canadians continue to demand an end to all COVID-19 restrictions. It's morphed into uh, the frustration that the, the general public is feeling. I, everyone I speak to, everyone I speak to, Not they've here. had enough. People are losing their jobs because they don't want to get the vaccine. The federal government has totally let us out. What, more mandates when the rest of the world is opening up? Ottawa correspondent Chris Gooley says some ralliers are showing no signs of clearing out, prompting concerns from residents. Reported incidents of, of these demonstrators defecating and urinating in snowbanks in front of their houses, horns honking through the night. People are at their wit's end. It's wrong that people in Ottawa right now are locked in their homes. That this convoy has meant that people are afraid to leave their homes. The mayor of Ottawa saying the massive policing effort is costing the city $800,000 a day. And officers are now escorting paramedics downtown after the service said protesters threw rocks at ambulances. Meanwhile, businesses have been forced to shut their doors. Businesses and organizations have been subjected to harassment and threats. And these disruptions have been financially debilitating to owners and staff. In a statement, Premier Doug Ford tells CHCH News the right to a peaceful protest is core to our Canadian identity, adding, I was extremely disturbed, however, to see some individuals desecrate our most sacred monuments and wave swastikas and other symbols of hate and intolerance this weekend that has no place in Ontario or Canada. Not now, not ever. Trudeau is calling on members of the convoy and other politicians who have been supporting the rally to condemn it as well. To the politicians exploiting people's fears, I ask you to think long and hard about the consequences of your actions. Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole met with truckers over the weekend and then condemned the desecration of the National War Memorial. And today he's calling on Trudeau to hear the protesters out. Will the Prime Minister move past the division and agree to meet with some of the truckers impacted by his federal regulations? <laughs> Trudeau has made it clear that he will not be speaking with the protesters. And with more than 90% of Canadian truckers fully vaccinated, the transport minister saying today that the mandatory vaccines have had no impact on the supply chain. Back to you at the desk.